Hi, I'm Ryan from Ratings.com. Today, we'll be doing a review of the Keychron Q1. We'll be evaluating it on our standardized test bench to see how it performs and if you should buy it. This is a modular, customizable keyboard, and we bought and tested the fully assembled version with Gatoron Phantom Brown switches, and we expect the variants of this keyboard to perform similarly besides the typing experience. You can buy a bare-bones version where you can design and build up your own, or buy one of the pre-assembled versions like we did. The Keychron Q1 is a customizable 75% keyboard with backlit hot swappable switches. This means you can remove the switches without having to desolder and resolder and can plug and play any switch you prefer. This is good for repairability in case of any issues with your switches or further customization to find the typing experience you prefer. Other replaceable and interchangeable parts of the keyboard include the backplate, keycaps, switches, and the PCB. It has a high profile design that is smaller than a full size keyboard since it is missing the numpad. It has an incredible build quality with an aluminum chassis and metal base plate. There are sound absorbing materials to dampen the sound and there are gaskets to create a softer and more flexible typing experience. The keycaps our unit came with are double shot ABS, which feel nice, but they feel a bit slippery. You can buy different keycaps if these don't fit your needs. The keys on ours have a slight wobble to them, especially the larger keys, but it isn't too noticeable while typing. The screw in stabilizers come standard, but can be replaced with cherry or Duroc stabilizers to fit your preferences. The four rubber pads on the underside keep the board in place well, but the heaviness of the board also helps. As it's a customizable board, it comes with a few extra goodies you don't typically find with most keyboards. Some tools and replaceable parts are included to help you have full control of your setup, as well as a premium, detachable, braided, coiled aviator type USB-C cable. Unfortunately, there are no incline settings to further adjust the tilt of the chassis, and there is no included wrist rest, so the ergonomics of the board are just decent. Now, onto the test results, and first we'll take a look at the functionality of this keyboard. It features media keys that are accessible through hotkeys. Luckily, all of the keys are macro programmable, so you can further customize this board to your liking. This is done through third-party software, either QMK or VIA. Both offer the ability to remap keys, set macros, and create multiple profiles. The software works on Mac or Windows and works in conjunction with the built-in OS switch and onboard memory to help you switch between operating systems easily. VIA also works on Linux, but there is no dedicated switch on the keyboard to set it to a dedicated Linux mode. The keyboard is fully compatible with Windows and Mac OS when you set that switch correctly, which is great. And Linux support is almost completely compatible, and we don't expect you to have any issues. That being said, this is a fairly straightforward keyboard in terms of special features, and you don't really get any optional extras or gamer-focused features for an elevated experience in this regard. There is no Windows lock, for example. On the bright side, it has RGB backlighting for typing in the dark or to add that extra flair to your setup. You can control the lighting on the keyboard directly, but the experience is limited in what you can do. The keycaps we bought aren't shine through, so the lighting only shines around the keys. On our unit with the Gatoron Phantom Brown switches, the light shines through the transparent brown switch housing, which gives the lighting a brown tint. This isn't that noticeable with RGB patterns, but it is noticeable when setting the keyboard to white. If you get different switches, you can expect the experience to differ here a bit, but it shouldn't be too much of a concern unless you are going for a setup with a very specific color scheme. Now, onto the typing experience. As you can see from the graph, the Gatoron Phantom Brown switches on our Keychron Q1 have a fairly long pre-travel and a low operating force. This means the keystroke is light and effortless, with a small bump about halfway through the key press to give tactile feedback. The actuation of the key isn't until quite a bit further, so it may result in some misclicks if you don't tend to bottom out the keys. Since the operating force is low, this shouldn't be an issue. Gamers should consider other switch options, as the Phantom Brown switches might not give the fastest response possible. The combination of nice double shot ABS keycaps, Gatoron Phantom Brown switches, gasket mounted design, and sound absorbing materials give the Keychron Q1 an excellent typing experience. The sound dampening and gasket mounted design makes for a very quiet keyboard, which is great for office environments. Unfortunately, the board's high profile makes it a little uncomfortable to type on without a wrist rest, but you can buy one separately from Keychron's website. And because the board is hot swappable, again, you can customize the switch to be whatever you prefer to tailor the quality of the typing experience to you. For you gamers out there who care about a low input lag from your devices, including your keyboard, when executing macros or chasing down the enemy, will be decently happy with the Keychron Q1's latency. If you need a very competitive board though, perhaps different switches or another keyboard might be better for you. 
So this brings us to the main question. Should you buy this keyboard? Well, for the price, it's a good 75% customizable keyboard for office use. It's a great introduction into the world of keyboard customization. The quiet typing from the sound absorbing material and gasket mounted design allow for a great typing experience with great key feedback while not annoying your fellow colleagues. The Mac OS and Windows compatibility make it a great choice no matter what operating system you use. It's also a good choice for gamers, although a different switch type would go a long way here to help improve the performance in games. The Gatoron Phantom Red seems to be better suited for the job as a linear switch with a presumably shorter pre-travel distance and no bump you need to get over to actuate the key. But if you want a 75% hot swappable keyboard that's better for gaming in our tests, check out the glorious GMMK Pro that has better latency and more backlighting options for late night sessions.